recreate my bow buttons look. I recently went to a book event and decided to go all out and as it was a magical occasion I thought I would dress for the occasion but I needed something to be goblet of fire. But this was a book event so I thought I went through what I had. I had Hogwarts robes, movie, vintage Hogwarts robes, movie, Quidditch jumper, movie. So I was like what am I going to do? It's actually while I was scrolling through Instagram that I stumbled across two of my Instagram friends who recently did a, a Bo Buttons boy look and I thought that this would be perfect. It is book accurate but film inspired and hopefully people will get it and around the same time Elope had just launched their official Bo Buttons hat and cape so I thought that this would be ideal. So first I had to get the cape and the hat but the two friends that made it were based in Spain so I ordered it from them but then I know they have a lot on and this was quite a last minute request as well so rather than them stress and me stress in case I'm not going to get here in time I thought let me try and get the American one and it was fortunately down to Hayley, my good friend Hayley of Michael and Hayley who you should totally check out by the way, I'll link them here she was kind enough to order me one and send one from America so that was coming as well so at least I had two options coming they both did actually arrive in time but I decided to go for my good friend Mr Malkin's Bobertons cape and hat because I wanted to support a friend not that the Elope products aren't good but as you can see, it's a lot bigger for my head. Get ready to recreate my Bow Battens look. What I do is look at the cape and find a matching suit to the cape because as you can see, the cape and the dress underneath from the studio tour is the same fabric. So I had to get one that was as close as I could get. I wore a white shirt and opted for a blue tie. But then I thought, well, what about the shoes? After taking some good photos at the tour, I did a little search for blue brogues and this pair popped up, which I thought were brilliant. And of course, if you're going to be doing fleur, you'll want to pair it with a noble collection wand, which is sublime. So if you're not following me on Instagram, then you may have missed that this book outfit was a hit. Well, it was for me anyway. I really enjoyed wearing it. I had so fun looking the part. If anyone's looking to recreate this, you basically just have to find a matching suit or a dress to the cape and the hat. And you can find similar kind of blue brogues online. And if you are doing Fleur, then you can find the Noble Collection Fleur wand. I'll leave links for all of the items I found. So look out for those if you want to recreate this look. I hope you've enjoyed learning about this Bobertons look. If you have, then please like this video. And let me know in the comments section, now that you know how to recreate this look, will you be doing that? I'd be really interested to know. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe or follow for more of the same Wizarding World content. And as some of you know by now, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.